Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair or get my poodle hair slash party hair. I call it several different things. But anyway, I thought this would be a fun tutorial to share with you guys. So yeah, if you want to see how I curl my hair, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so clearly I look a lot less attractive than I did in the first clip. But um, also, I forgot to mention the first clip, I'm kind of trying this sitting in a lower chair, so it's kind of like an up angle. We'll see how I feel about it. I'm not sure yet, but um, anywho. So, yes, for this look, the things that you will need are a curling iron, obviously, and this one is from Hot Tools, and I don't know how big it is. It's kind of small. I want to get a bigger one, but um, yeah. So I have this set to like 400-ish degrees, so I'm just going to turn that on so it can heat up. Then you are going to need, oh, stay put, would you? Just, okay. You're going to need a hairbrush. This is really gross. I should clean this out. Um, and then you're going to need a teasing comb. Um, so this is, you know, just a Conair one. Um, and then you're going to need hairspray. So I really like the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Finishing Spray. It works really, really well. And I love it. I have like... I don't know, six or seven bottles of it. I get a lot of um, hair products for free from where I work hair and nail stuff. So then you're going to also need some sort of volumizing mousse. And technically you're supposed to use mousse when your hair is wet. And normally I do if I know I'm going to curl my hair. I don't have any in my hair now because I wasn't planning on curling my hair. And this is um, like second or third day hair now. Um, but I use it in dry hair as well because I just do. So I normally have been using or recently have been using the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump Plus. I got this for super cheap at my work because it was on clearance. Um, like in a holiday set that hadn't been sold yet. So, yep. So I've been using this one, but I might try this one today. I just got this one. Um, and it's the Paul Mitchell X. Drop everything the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam. So we'll see which one I end up using. So to get started I'm going to take down my hair and it's ridiculously long and I look like um whenever I have my hair like this I look like the troll from um Halloween Town. Okay so I'm going to brush out my hair and part it like I normally would. I need my mirror. I've got my mirror up here. Oh my goodness, my desk is a mess. Y'all, I'm about to go on a two-week vacation, and my just, I can't get my life together. Everything is everywhere because I'm trying to pack and get stuff ready, and so it's just a mess. So if I look over here, I'm looking in the mirror. Brush out your hair and make sure there's no, you know, ow, tangles in it or anything like that. And this, honestly, I know I have, like, super long, super thick hair. But this really does not take me that long. I don't know if it's just the way I do it or, you know, also probably just getting used to how you curl your hair and how it works for you probably helps a lot. Okay, so this is how I normally part my hair. I probably shouldn't have worn black, but you can still see. My hair goes down pretty long. Um, so I'm going to section it off. I do this side of my head in two sections. I do this side in like three um, different sections, three or four. Um. So I'm going to section it off pretty much. I just kind of go in the middle of my head here and section it, pull it, oh, ooh, double chin, so cute. Pull it up and then I just take this hair kind of and um, twist it and we'll just, oh, I forgot to mention you're going to need some clips as well. Yes, I forgot to mention this. So I just grab a clip. Um, you can get, I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of clip. This one's from, uh, Forever 21, I think. Clip that in place. And then I'm also going to be using later on this bigger clip. And this is, I got it at, like, H&M. Um, so yeah, then I'm going to go through and brush the layer once again. So I curl my hair, what I call my poodle hair, in different size sections. Um, just because I like the, um, look that it gives. So sometimes I use smaller sections, sometimes I use bigger sections, but I do all of the curls um, away from my face. So I pretty much just wrap it around. If I run out of room at the end because my hair is super long, I just wrap it back up. Um, there's not really any certain method. Um, I do have really hard to volumize hair just because it's so long and heavy 
So I find that rolling the curling iron up pretty close to your roots helps give you some volume. And another thing I do is I hold my hair for different amounts of time. So sometimes I'll hold it for a long time to get a super like duper curl like this and then sometimes I don't hold it as long and it gets to be looser. So yep that's how I do it. So anyway I'll show you one more time how I do it and then um, I will just speed this up a bit. <laughs> so I just I have the curling iron in my right hand and the piece of hair in my left hand so I flip the curling iron upside down and I just wrap my hair around how tragic would it be if my hair fell off like that girl in the video that'd be pretty bad but then maybe it'd go viral and get on Ellen so okay and another reason um let me just say this I don't have my makeup on because I tend to get really hot when I curl my hair, which is why there's a fan there. Normally, I have it on whenever I curl my hair, so I'll probably turn it on once I start to speed this up. Um, and so I don't like putting makeup on first just because I feel like it'll... I, I sweat sometimes when I... This is gross, but it's true. So I just do my makeup after. switch sides of my head I just switch hands like curling on the mouth here and here and here. I have the bottom layer of my hair curled so what I'm gonna do now is just pull this all to the back and I'm just gonna give it a quick spray with um, my hairspray so uh oh I got an email I'm so popular just kidding it's Pinterest um so yeah spray it with hairspray um and what I'm also going to do is I like to tease as I curl so I'm just going to, and this is like really, really helpful. Um, I'm going to pull all this hair up and tease underneath the nap of my neck. So I'll try to turn here so you can kind of see. And just a little bit. I mean, I don't tease it a ton. But this really does help to give your hair some volume right at the base of your neck. Okay, so that is that. And now I'm going to take this clip out and pull down the next layer. So like I said, I only split this side into two. So I'll leave all of this part down. This side, I'm going to grab up this front little section here. Um, so I'll do this part in three sections. And we'll clip this. Okay, so I'm going to pull all of this to the front now, curling pieces that are already curled included, and I'm just going to curl this just like I did the other section, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to whenever I'm done. Okay, y'all, so I am done with the second section of hair, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing, pull it to the back and spray it with hairspray, and something I love about this hairspray is that it is very, like, touchable, like, you can work with it even after you have sprayed. And now what I'm going to do is pull some, or the pieces to the front, and I'm just going to section off some areas and tease them just to get some um, added volume. You can see how much volume that added. And so basically how I do this is I just take the back of the teasing comb 
to grab a section of hair, section it off, and tease. And then something that is really important, I know this looks crazy, we're not going to leave it like this, it'll go down some, but um, if you tease in separate sections, sometimes it can really, you can tell like the section that you tease, if that makes sense. So something that's really important is to go in between the two sections and kind of tease them together so you can't really tell. That makes sense. And this sometimes can have certain pieces come uncurled and we will fix that in a little bit. But um, yeah, and don't forget the back either because if your side of your head is really poofy and then your back is flat, that's just kind of weird. Um, so just sectioning and teasing and sectioning and teasing. And this is super fun to get out in the shower. But it's worth it because it's just, it's a fun hairstyle. I love it. And I always get tons of compliments on it. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been wearing my hair like this a lot recently. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Self-plug here. Um, Rachel EJ Beauty, same as my YouTube channel. Um, I've been wearing my hair a lot like this. A lot like this, does that make sense? Like this a lot lately. And I just, I love it. Alright, so I'm going to pull these to the back again and tease my sections together. Oh, did I find a straight piece of hair? Recurl. The whole point of this, too, is supposed to be, like, super messy, so, you know, just go for it. Make it real messy. And we will do that as well. Okay. So now I wanted to show you this front section because I do this section a little bit different. So I'm going to take down this whole front section here and brush it so I have like my emo side bangs of um, the seventh grade once again. Okay. So now I'm going to take, I mean, semi-large sections of this. Um, and at first it's going to be just like I curled the other pieces. Um, so we'll do that for a bit. I cannot see this is dangerous. Can't see. So, curl it. And this is a pretty big chunk, so you're going to have to let it sit for a minute. Okay. And I'll take another section here. Brush it. Okay. And again... Curl it pretty much just like we normally do here. Y'all comment down below if you can figure out where I'm going by this video because I can see a obvious hint um, in my background. So comment down below if you can figure out where I'm going. And let's try and get this video to 15 likes. Let's Let's go for 15. So now this is where... It's going to get a little bit different. So I'm going to split this into two pieces here. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to brush it up. Put this little thing down here. Okay, don't burn myself. And pretty much I'm going to just wrap it flat. Or I don't know if it's really that different, but I don't know. I feel like it makes a difference because it gives my hair a lot of volume. And I roll it up, if y'all can see. Mm-hmm. And we're done. Just kidding. Obviously. And I'm going to do the same with this section here. And you can see how it like gives me that weird curl in the front. It's great. It gives you lots of volume. Okay. So I'm actually going to wait and tease this section after I do my makeup. So what I'm going to do, this is where the big clip comes in, is I'm going to do my makeup. So I need to get my hair out of my face. So I'm pretty much going to pull it. And you can see, I'm going to kind of brush this just like this. It kind of should create a natural poof, and you can kind of poof it up some yourself as well. And... We're going to pin it in the back so we can do our makeup. And then I'm going to go through even more with my teasing comb and poof it out. And as you're 
curls completely cool and we'll spray this with hairspray. It really helps um, with the volume and you can even do it on the other side as well. Okay, so I kind of look like Jimmy Neutron in a way. So I'm going to spray this up top here. And now I'm going to go do my makeup. Alright guys, so I finished my makeup. It's been about 45 minutes, so my hair is completely cooled. I'm going to turn my curling um, wand back on just so we can touch up a few pieces. So anyway, I'm going to take out this clip. And this is what we have with our hair. So what I'm going to do is flip my head over and just kind of pull apart the pieces and stuff. Um, and tease some more at the nape of my neck, nape of my neck, what's it called? So, I'll turn sideways so maybe you can hopefully see somewhat. So, pretty much pulling apart pieces. I really don't want it to look perfect. I'm going to gather this up here. Here my lip gloss here. And tease. I will flip that back over. My chair is so squeaky, y'all. My mom got me this chair from, I think she found it in the shed, and I don't know, it's really squeaky. I need to get another chair from what I used to have, but that one broke. Okay, anywho. So this is what we have. We're not done yet. Um, I'm going to tease some more. Just kind of all over. Because we want... Our hair to be very big and voluptuous. Uh, let's see here. Especially if you're in the south, you gotta have big hair. It's like a rite of passage. I know we look like a lion currently, but we're gonna work with it. This is great. This is exactly what we want is to look like a ferocious beast. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of my mousse and I pull my hair and you only want a little bit. Again, <coughs> I don't really know if you're supposed to use this when you're just dry. I don't think so, but oh well. So I guess I'm going to try this Paul Mitchell one. So shake it up. And you really only need like... Oh, why is it so liquid? <gasps> It grew! I never use mousse. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. So basically, I just like put it there. Um, and um, yeah, just kind of it smells pretty good. I squirted it out way too much. Um, yep, so I'm just going to do this, flip my head over here, now I'm going to kind of get my hair parted where it normally is. Okay, great, and we're just going to tease some more. I know this is like super bad for your hair, um, but oh well, <laughs> I don't have anything else to say other than oh well. I don't really, I really don't curl it that often. Maybe once a week, if that. But that's more than I normally do. And just kind of brush here. Tangles. 
like I said, my hair does not hold volume very well. So like this little bit that I have working for me right now is great. And it was great. I just, I take what I can get with volume, which is normally not much. Oh, my phone is going to have a layer of hairspray. Oh, that was in my eyeball. So I literally just like throw it around. I want this to be like super messy and just big and playful. This is great party hair. I also, I define this hair as either my poodle hair or my party hair. Whichever one. Because if I have this hairdo, um, it means I'm probably either A, having a party or B, going to one. So, like we had a Memorial Day party. So I have this hairstyle. Okay, so now what I do is I hold this piece back here and spray. Kind of gives it a little look here and then I hold. I totally did not even hit my head there. That was like way up here. And spray. Okay. So that's it y'all. This is my poodle hair. Party hair, whatever you want to call it. Um, you could totally add a bandana, which sometimes I do. I've got lots of bandanas to choose from. I love bandanas, you guys. That's some I haven't worn yet. These are all my new ones. So, lots of bandanas. Lots of options you could do with this. You could braid a piece back if you wanted to. You could do half up, half down. I mean, there's tons of things you could do with this hairstyle. But I'm just going to leave it down for the sake of this video. But... This is it. This is how I get my poodle hair. If you, if you guys try out this hairstyle, please make sure to tag me in a photo on Twitter or Instagram or something so I can see and like and comment and tweet back to you guys because I would love to see you guys try this out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please make sure to do so. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!